Steam VR on the Apple Vision Pro with the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. For many, it's been an impossible dream. But what if I told you it's now possible? <laughs> In this video, I'll show you step by step how to stream the full PC VR experience to your Apple Vision Pro using the open source tool ALVR and your PlayStation VR 2 controllers, of course. <laughs> we'll find out how good the tracking is, what the latency is like, and if the effort is truly worth it. So if you want to get the most of your Apple Vision Pro, you need to watch this. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de. So first, what do you need to do that? For example, play Half-Life Alyx on the Apple Vision Pro. So of course, <laughs> you need the Apple Vision Pro. That's the most expensive part of all that $3,500, right? And then you need the PlayStation VR 2 controllers. Unfortunately, as far as I know, you cannot buy them separately for now. Um, so that means you have to buy a PlayStation VR 2. So this video is mostly for people that already have the PlayStation VR 2 controllers and already have the Apple Vision Pro or they just want to uh, have another argument to buy the Apple Vision Pro, I don't know. <laughs> and then of course you need a gaming PC. It's not um, rendered inside the headset or, or, or uh, processed inside the headset, it's processed inside your PC. Because there is SteamVR, there are all the VR games, uh, it's not possible to uh, uh, process that in, in this um, standalone Vision Pro. <clears throat> and then of course you need the tool, it's called ALVR. And you cannot just uh, go into the App Store and uh, Apple App Store and install it. It's, uh, I would say it's a beta version and uh, at Apple you need the test flight access. Test flight is, if you don't know it, it's like a beta platform for Apple apps, something like that. Yeah, And then, so you need this link and then you have to accept that. You have to open the link on an Apple device, like an iPhone or so, and then accept it and then you can install it on your Apple Vision Pro. I will put all the links you need in the description. So this is what you need and now let's check out how it works. Okay guys, and before we start um, with gameplay, I want to show you how you can connect ALVR to the Apple Vision Pro. So you need two things. This is the streamer app. This is what you definitely need on your PC and inside the headset you will need the ALVR test flight client. At least for now, later perhaps it will be in the official store. So and now then run it on the uh, Apple Vision Pro, run the um, ALVR client then here launch Steam VR. Now and what you're gonna do first, the, you need only to do it first. Here you can see it found a new wireless device. This is the Apple Vision Pro, click on trust and now as you can see here there is an unknown uh, device and it's already streaming yeah i'm already here so inside uh, the apple vision pro i'm now already in uh, steam vr it's really easy sometimes you have to uh, when you do it for the first time, you have to wait a little bit, sometimes one minute inside the Apple Vision Pro, and then you click on enter. Sometimes you have to restart the app. Yeah, for When you do it for the first time, restart the test flight LVR app, and then open it again, and then it should work uh, with streaming. Yeah, And now you can just do everything you want. And of course, the PlayStation VR 2 controllers, you have to connect them uh, via Bluetooth, inside the Apple Vision Pro, go there to the Bluetooth settings and then add the um, PlayStation VR 2 controllers and then you can just play it. It's as easy as that, right? Of course we could go through all these settings here, but uh, it still works with standard settings, yeah? So that's absolutely fine. Yeah, you can change a little bit of stuff here, uh, go for more Hertz or so, just uh, try around, but still it works uh, really good on standard settings. So yeah, now, as you have an idea how it's connected, I will put all the links in the description. And now let's check out some Half-Life Alyx gameplay. Okay, guys, and now look at this. Wait, where's the camera? I'm, I'm trying to stand in front of the camera now that you can see I'm really using the Apple Vision Pro here, yeah, in, in Half-Life Alyx. And look how fast um, 
the latencies. I, I can move my head very fast and it's very accurate. Also the controllers, look at this. Wow, that's amazing, right? So, uh, what do you think? I mean, it's for me it's insane. I love this game, it's my absolute favorite VR game. But now to see it with, with this brilliant display, yeah? I mean, you know I love the, the display of the Apple Vision Pro. We have a Sony micro OLED display with an ultra high resolution. And now you can see how, how great that is. It's just, and it works so good. It works so good. Yeah, everything. Look, look I, I can also use the buttons here, of course. Everything also here. No problem at all. And it works without any problems. <clears throat> uh, what I can tell you, uh, what you definitely need is that you uh, have to, uh, yeah, do some settings in the ALVR software. It depends on your PC. You can uh, uh, upgrade the performance a little bit, the streaming. It also depends on your Wi-Fi and so. So make sure to play a little bit around so it looks the best and still good performance. And yeah, I can tell you this is just insane. <laughs> yeah, and now I ask you the question, why on earth did Apple not implement this like naturally i mean this is not this is only half official the playstation vr2 controllers are official right they are official supported by apple but the software the alvr this is not really official it's third party and it's still in test flight and nobody knows if we if they implement it finally but i mean what if Apple just included that natively since the release? So for now, the, the, the things that we can do with the Apple Vision Pro normally is just working and watching movies. And that works absolutely amazing. But playing games was not so good, right? But just implement SteamVR support and then uh, make it possible that we can buy the PlayStation VR 2 controller separately without the PlayStation VR 2. And then it would be perfect, right? Then the, the price tag would be not so bad, uh, yeah, because you can do a lot of things and you have the perfect display. Yeah, so that's, that's absolutely, look, I mean, whoa, that looks insane. I mean, like, this is so cool when you and you have like black and dark areas with the with the Sony OLED display. Look, look at this. This looks amazing. It looks really how it should look. It's a blast. And of course, yeah, we have to be honest. You need a strong Wi-Fi here. You cannot just put your router somewhere else and then think it works. That, that's not happening, right? So you really need a strong Wi-Fi. And look, this, this game is... More ammunition, right? Ah, how can we, how can we crouch? How do uh, I will just crouch myself. <laughs> wow, just absolutely amazing. Pew! Now, as you can see, we can just, yeah, use it like always. Also here, the teleport, everything works perfectly. I love it. One, two, three. Ha! Oh no, I have to go there. <laughs> so, yeah guys, I don't want to play the whole game, of course. We, we already know Half-Life Alyx, right? Yeah? But still, I mean, how cool is this? How cool is this? And, yeah, to, to, uh, to tell you a little bit more about this, we... Um, 
we need test flight for now. Yeah, that's uh, that's for sure. But perhaps uh, there is something they, they something uh, say about uh, six days left. I don't know exactly what that means. I hope after that it's it will be converted to the full version that you can just play in the uh, download in the app store. I will put all the links that you need in the description for the. Um, ALVR client for PC and also test flight and also the normal version uh, 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 in the Apple App Store so make sure to download it and then of course you need the PlayStation VR 2 controllers however you do that <laughs> yeah perhaps you already have the PlayStation VR 2 and then you can use it I can tell you it's absolutely amazing to to play that in, in VR right yeah so guys I hope you enjoyed that check also out my other apple vision pro videos and yeah see you next time in virtual reality see ya